Tonight, I want us to consider the fearful possibility. I want us to consider the fearful possibility of separation from our loved ones. To be separated eternally from our loved ones. To be separated eternally from our loved ones. The day, the day of the Lord. So cometh as a thief. A thief in the night. The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. There are loved ones in the glory whose dear forms you often miss when you end your earthly story will you join them in their bliss you remember happy gatherings round the fireside long ago and you think of tearful partings when they left you here below one by one their seats were emptied one by one they went away here the circle has been broken Will it be complete one day? In the joyous days of childhood, off they told of wondrous love, pointed to the dying Savior. Now they dwell with him above you. Remember songs of heaven which you sang with childish voice. Do you love those hymns they taught you? Or are songs of earth your choice? In Malmesbury, there's a strange thing. In the city, there's a, a bend in the road. And as these lorries turn that corner, they don't slow down. And there's always spillage of wheat all over the street at that bend. Now, the birds watch. And over the years, from when he was a young fellow to this day, as those things turn, the spillage, the birds in their hundreds just swoop down onto the street to take up all the corn they could, all these little picking. And the next lorry is coming, swiftly, they don't want to slow down. There are all these hundreds of birds. And then they swoop up, sometimes seconds before that lorry gets. But tragically, some linger just too long. And every day there are hundreds of birds lying dead over that corner, over that bend. Every day, there's hundreds who saw the other birds left it too late their lives cut off knowing knowing it can happen but they linger just to feed a little longer just to feed a little longer from the core knowing the danger knowing that you could be cut off your life could be cut off and that is to me very fearful beloved it's like sin you foolishly Linger on. You know the possibilities there of death. You know it. You'll never be able to say to God you weren't aware that that could have happened. I mean, how many die a day? How many do you know that's died? Cut off. You know. But you just, with that danger, you could be cut off. You just want to feed a little longer from sin. You want to sit at the devil's table, go to the devil's places, do the devil's things, feed from what Satan holds out just a little longer. 
How do you know? I've stood preaching with whole families, an entire family, in the place called Dundee. And I've said at the end of the sermon, how do you know you're going to reach home? And you're not saved, sir, and your whole family is not saved. How can you be sure that you'll even reach your, your door tonight without being taken? And none of you, why don't you seek God? Seek God. And I was broken, weeping to these people. That whole family sought God that night. Many did. They got out into their car, drove out of the town onto the, and were slaughtered. Wow! In one moment. How do you know? You say that won't happen. That's not going to happen. It can. It may. How do you know? I got a sermon that just on two hours that they spread across the world, the media, the Christian, of illustration upon illustration upon illustration upon illustration of events that happened to people I stood with that either that day or the next day, but mostly that day, sometimes in minutes, were dead. I even remember preaching and crying. And in my sermon, a man just fell down dead as I was preaching. Pow! You think you can wait for the end of the sermon for an appeal to make a choice, do you? How do you know you're going to be alive? How do you know? Answer God! Sixteen-year-olds! Answer yourselves if your soul actually means anything to you. Or are you your worst enemy? No one else is to blame for where you will be for eternity when you're cut off. How do you know as you linger? There's a verse in the Bible that says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Now, sir, that's not a promise. That's a warning. And it's in God's word. Seek ye the Lord. God's word cries out while he may be found. Call here upon him while he's near. Is he near? You think he's going to come near again and again until you decide, I've had enough of sin. I'm close to it. Do you honestly think you can play the fool with eternity with your soul and God? Don't play the fool with God's soul. This could be God's final call. I preach like this because I know what can happen. Don't you judge me for preaching like this. Judge me if I didn't preach like this in this day of playing the fool with God. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. What more can God say? But God won't force you to seek him. Now is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. If. You will harden not your hearts. Now is the acceptable time. I can save you now. If you will harden not your hearts, as in the day of provocation, tomorrow may not be coming for you, sir. Boy. Oh, you think you can just linger? That's very foolish. That's very, very foolish. Be careful, you may be tempted to pursue to linger a little longer as those birds in their hundreds daily. Beloved, we dare not fail to warn them urgently. I wonder how many people are more desperate as they speak to their child or concerned of their child's education. But they've never been desperate in, about their child's soul. Never is concerned. Don't leave it too late to warn them. There are loved ones in the glory whose dear forms you often miss when you end your earthly story will you join them in their bliss you remember happy gatherings round the fireside long ago. And you think of tearful partings when they left you here below. One by one, their seats 
were emptied. One by one they went away. Here the circle has been broken. Will it be complete one day? In the joyous days of childhood, off they told of wondrous love, pointed to the dying Savior. Now they dwell with him above. You remember songs of heaven which you sang with childish voice. Do you love those hymns they taught you or are songs of earth your choice?